Entonces es un, es sí, un sí. castillo. Sí. Es un. Bueno, la, antes, uh -huh. en época medieval, las ciudades estaban todas amuralladas. ¿Vale? Y para entrar a la ciudad tenía varias puertas. Uh -huh. Esta puerta es la puerta de Sevilla. Oh, ¿eh? cool, cool. ¿Vale? Eh, uh -huh. Porque el camino de Sevilla es aquel de allí. Uh -huh. Es el camino de Sevilla. Pero fíjate que el camino de Sevilla está hacia allá y la puerta mira en dirección contraria. Uh -huh. Si quiere acabarlo. Eh, uh -huh. eh, entonces, mm, es algo intencionado. Se hacen muchas murallas. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Fíjate. Eh, la puerta mira para arriba, uh -huh. pero el camino de Sevilla es aquel. Cool, cool, cool. El, la razón es que cuando los atacantes querían tomar uh -huh. una ciudad, el punto más débil siempre es las puertas. Entonces, los atacantes atacaban la ciudad, los defensores estaban en la muralla, Ay, eh, sí, con sí. las flechas sí, y tal, ¿no? Sí, sí. Cool, y cool, cool. y uh -huh. si tú vas, tú eres diestro, llevas en la mano derecha lleva la espada uh -huh. y en la izquierda lleva el escudo. Si atacas la puerta, los defensores están aquí y como llevas el escudo a la izquierda, eres vulnerable. ¿Me, me, enti sí, ¿me entiendes sí, eso? Sí, es decir, sí, 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 que sí, si sí. Eh, te cambias de mano, sí, sí. Sí. si te pones el escudo aquí, llevas la, la espada a la izquierda, si los defensores vienen, sí, sí, te sí, encuentran sí. con la mano a la izquierda. ¿no? Entonces, uh -huh. se hace queriendo con vista a obligar a los atacantes a exponer la parte que no tiene defensa, sí. que es la parte derecha. Qué cool. Joder. Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Te hago una foto? Sí. sí. Wow. Oh, bumpy. All right, so we are back on the road. Well, we're back on the tractor track, and Manuel just left us. Whoop. But what a legend. He um, yeah, took me in at very short notice on the app, which normally people don't ride back for like two or three or more days, which is why I haven't really used it yet because I never really know where I'm gonna be. So it's hard to plan in advance. But yes, he took me in at short notice. He fed me a delicious garlic soup and tortilla. And this morning he gave me a little tour of his, whoa, of his city, which was very, very nice city actually. And now he has taken me, or he directed me onto this shortcut, which will cut several kilometers off today's commute. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, very grateful for Manuel. The world needs more Manuels. Yeah. We'll keep going and see what little joys and terrors we encounter today. Yes, I'm glad that I opted for I'm glad that I opted for this trail. I was gonna go the asphalt path because I, I don't have a spare tube because I used it yesterday. I hope now that I've said that, it, that it does not jinx me. <laughs> but I have faith. Um, but as you can see, this is a lot nicer than any road could ever be. I've been cycling through this farmland for a few kilometers now not sure how many more left till we meet back up with the road but it's bloody peaceful I'll tell you that much we got a slippery sandy path now Whoa. Oh. um yeah slippery had to push my bike up the hill before so a bit of a fork in the road but uh grows you a bit of backbone mate
So I've just been cycling through these rolling hills now for the last 30 minutes. It's extremely peaceful out here. I feel like I'm in a 90s daytime TV show, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Well, it's been really nice getting a bit more rural over the last few days. Definitely more of a challenge though. But Listen to that wind. It could tie your shoes for you, that shit, mate. Oh, come here, little shade. Ooh. Okay, so I just finished my siesta on a park bench and it's 5.30. So the heat is just back to an acceptable level. And we will arrive in Sevilla in 20 kilometers. And that will be the end of a stint. And then I'll have a, be having a two day rest. Uh, finally, a nice shady river. Riverside path. Nearly at Sevilla. This bridge is weird, it's a bit wobbly. Interesting though. All right, so, I'm now on the outskirts of Sevilla, which is a city close to the border with Portugal. These, the outskirts kind of remind me of a Latin American city. Uh, but at, in the center of the city, I, I believe it will get more typical Spanish historical. That leg of the trip was maybe, yeah, that would have been my favorite one so far. It tested me mentally. The remoteness of the mountains, definitely. It was much more difficult. It involved a bit more um, risk, I guess, in terms of making sure I've got enough water to get to the next town, etc., etc. But there were also some very beautiful moments as well, very joyful, as you have seen. So that's it for now. I'll be back with the new one. The next episode, I just got to figure out where I'm going next. Yep, so far so good.